Hey, Mr. McIntosh here, and today I'm going to do a fast how-to on how to boot your 2018 Plus T2 Mac into DFU mode, and then I'll show you how to use Apple Configurator 2 to restore and revive BridgeOS. Let's get started. I've got the host Mac here, and I've got the target Mac. This is a dead Mac that I'm going to have to restore. So once I have my host Mac set up and I've got Apple, 2, Apple Configurator 2 all set up, all I need is the USB-C charging cable. You can plug it into anywhere you want on the host Mac, front or back uh, ports, but on the target Mac, the dead Mac, you're going to have to plug it into the port that's closest to the track bag, to the front port. Once that's done, then we can put the Mac into DFU mode. All we need to do is do uh, four keyboard commands. We're gonna hold down power button for one second, then we're gonna hold down the right shift, the left control, and the left option for 10 seconds together. Let's do it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand. DFU mode ready to go. Once you see it on here, you know the Mac is ready to go. The T2 chip is powered on, but the Intel side is off. That means it's ready for the restore. Once you see this, all you need to do is right click on the DFU mode and go to advanced and then revive device. There it goes. It's going to immediately start to download. BridgeOS is about four to 500 mega, uh, or megabytes. It's going to download that straight from Apple server and then it's going to move to unzipping. It's going to unzip the installer, and then it's going to move to installing the system. This process takes anywhere between two to five minutes to complete. When, you, when it's almost done, you're going to see uh, the Mac over here come back to life. It's going to show a Mac or the Apple logo, and you'll start to see a progress bar, but it's not done yet. Then you'll see it kind of power back off of yet and finish the final part of the system. Uh, I'm going to move ahead here while this is going to talk about the restore process. The restore process is something that you want to do if this process does not work, the revive. The restore process will basically do the same thing. It'll reinstall BridgeOS, but, and there it is alive like I was telling you it was going to do, but it's going to power back off and finish the last process. Um, back to the restore. The restore will, again, reinstall BridgeOS and then it will also erase your drive. You only wanna do the restore if the revive doesn't work and the Mac is still dead. That's like your final option. If, if there's nothing you can get to do to bring it uh, back to life. So that's why I wanted to warn you that it will erase your drive if you use the restore option, not the revive option. And there it is, you're done. As soon as you see that lock, it's finished. The Mac will power back on and it's ready to go. So now let's do the restore option. I'm gonna power this back down and show you how that goes real quick. Once it's ready, we'll do the same thing. 1010, 1000. Ready to go. Click on DFU, right click on it. Instead of going into Advanced Revive, we're going to click Restore. There's going to show you the warning, and I'm going to zoom in on that so you can see that. Do you want to restore the, the Apple controller, which is the Bridge OS, to the latest firmware version? All the media will be erased. And obviously, I mentioned that already that all the uh, data will be erased in the drive. Click Restore, and there it goes. Same thing. But this time, it's going to erase the drive, and you'll see this come back up. Same thing, takes two minutes to do, but instead it'll come to the flashing folder icon, just like you saw there earlier, so it says that the, the hard drive was erased. When I did the revive, the hard drive was already erased, so that's why you saw it in the first time. And that's it. Once you do that, all you need to do is uh, boot the Mac and with Command, Option R, you'll boot to Internet Recovery, and then you can reinstall Mac OS. That's it. Thanks, guys.